Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Four Minutes. I'm Paul Schaefer. The Spalding family seems like your everyday average family. A husband, a wife, five children. They lived in a good neighborhood with churches, tree-lined streets, friendly neighbors. By all accounts, they seemed like the average family living in the average house, but they were dealing with a mystery. There's something unsolved in their past. In this edition, we're gonna to try to get to the bottom of this and see what really happened. I've heard stories, plenty of stories, about it walking up to cabins. You know, I don't know if these stories are true. But apparently it walked up to a cabin and Kenny shot it, shot the bear. And now we have a bear head sitting around our garage. Oh yeah, all the time. He told me he was bayoneted by a Japanese soldier. And then I go home and I learned that it's really just a scar from the surgery. But I think... No, I think I'll stick with the better story of him getting bayoneted because that's a lot cooler to tell instead of, you know, he just got a surgery is all. And he said he said he was a gunner in the B-25, which I think it's true, but how could he get bayoneted by a Japanese soldier if he's 10,000 feet up in the air? What I think happened to the bear is up in Montana, they, they're all going hunting. Uh, and while they were hunting, they came across a bear and then they were getting attacked by it, so they shot it in the mouth and it died. Oh, but there, it's like, when I was little, it was too scary for me, but when he shot it, I don't remember what happened, but but then I think he gave it to us, and then we probably hung it up in our garage. I don't remember, but I think that happened, and that was a bear head. It is sometimes freaks me out when I go in the garage and then look at it, and I forgot it was there. <coughs> Grandpa Kenny. He makes up stories. You can't ask him about them, he'll get ticked. He was in the Marines. You don't want to mess with Grandpa Kenny. Hey, he makes up stories. The bear head story might be a story. The only way to do it, to find out about the bear head story, is to go to Montana. It's the only way you're gonna figure that out. Time to go to Montana. I found out long ago 